Hey guys, how's it going? Quick little uh, single cab update. I've put about uh, 60 miles on it, just kind of tooling around town with it. And uh, everything seems to be going just fine. It actually runs quite nice. Uh, did some cleaning, as you can tell. The last panel's been uh, de-scrubbed. Um, there's no wax or anything on it, so right now it's very flat looking. You can kind of see the wax is on the bottom, but it's not on the top. That's how that'll kind of pop back. You know what we should do is uh, we fire it up and pull it outside before it rains. Light on you. Give her a cold start. Reset that choke, hit the gas pedal on. And... Close enough. Come okay, on. There you go. So, I want to do the wax the outside, and of course, I want to get something underneath it. So, picked up a gallon of uh, Boratine oil. That'll be uh, my undercoating for underneath it. See it out in the daylight. That's what we're looking at. It's got a good look to it. And all this is dry too. This all needs to get waxed yet. Cleaned up the top up here. This had all red primer on it. Cleaned all that off. And uh, they have something that's called a church key that they use on the gates and the gas door. And it has basically a letter P and it has a key that looks something like that. And I was trying to figure out what that shape was I saw it before. And then I remembered old, uh, old wood drills have that same setup on them. So I took one of those. There's a thread of the drill bit. And then this is an extra bracket I had left over, which I believe is one of those guys. It's the bracket for the gate. So I just kind of welded them together. I figured it would make for a fitting piece, you know? And that allows you to kind of get in and use it as a key for all the places. I have um, some of these I found for the front doors that are, are missing on these. These are out of a beetle, but they should work. I should be able to cut it down to make them uh, slide inside the glass for those cams. And then I went to my secret stash and I found this material. And I believe I'm gonna try to use that to make the bottom of my front seat because there's just nothing there. that one. Then the little one works the gas door. Same idea. Like that. Covers that one. And then there's the one for the hatch. The tin made up, but it's the wrong one. It's got an extra hole in it. So I gotta keep an eye out for the correct tin for it. And then I got the heat hooked up to my tubes, and then down below it's hooked up also. There we go. 
and the rubber gasket set up inside the uh, the engine compartment. So all the seals are put in. Everything's working correctly now. Change the oil in it. It's got a funky oil strainer underneath, but it seems like it does quite well. Yeah, that's a good see what I have for a front seat. So I'm gonna see if that material looks pretty good to match in this stuff. It's not direct, but uh, should be good enough. What was left of that rubber mat I put back down on the floor. And all the seals are in it. Uh, again, I'm just waiting to, for the stickers to come in and go and get a sticker. I'm just kind of tooling around town in it for now until uh, I do get that done. But definitely liking the way it comes out. It drives great. And uh, I definitely see uh, <laughs> a lot of cell phones come out and uh, try to get pictures taken of me while I'm uh, cruising around. So I think it should be a hit this summer. Guys, again, thanks for watching, comment, subscribing, and uh, take care. Bye.